Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your likes your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi cancer this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 12th through the 18th this is for cancer Sun cancer moon and cancer rising signs All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, I have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so the Eight of Swords is that mental energy. So for some of you, you might be in the mind. Uh, just, you know, take caution with that energy. It could be you worrying unnecessarily, uh, fearing the worst, having doubts, insecurity. And then for some other Cancerians, this could be it can be a confusing energy so for some of you you could be dealing with some confusion surrounding a situation within your life I do see many of you wanting to charge forward the overall energy is the knight of wands so very passionate fiery wanting to move forward um, move down a new path or wanting things to happen quickly for some of you maybe you physically want to travel or move but there could be confusion um, surrounding the situation with the eight of swords or for some of you maybe you're just worrying about this you could be worrying unnecessarily when it comes to moving forward but I do see for many of you waiting waiting on an offer or waiting on information to come through with the four of cups now this isn't necessarily you know you feeling down and out with the four of cups um this is more like feeling bored with having to wait with the four of cups feeling emotionally discontent uh feeling flat feeling bored maybe sick of waiting on an offer or information uh to come through but with the hierophant here next to the four of cups spirit is telling you that you need to keep the faith you need to keep the faith when it comes to this offer, this information, whatever it is that you've been waiting on that I think allows you to move forward, Cancer, you need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive. Now, we also have the moon underneath the Four of Cups. So, again, you, some of you are maybe dealing with this energy. This is my least favorite energy, the moon. It can be a tricky energy. So, for some of you, you could be really worrying a lot. This is more of an emotional energy. And when things are up in the air, when we are waiting on something, this energy can come in. The moon represents the unknown. So for some of you, you're definitely maybe worrying a lot. You Maybe you're more sensitive this week. But with the moon, it's really worrying unnecessarily. So, you know, for some of you, you definitely need to take caution with that. Um... I think that for some of you, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, and I think that that's why Spirit is telling you you need to have faith, you need to keep the faith, you need to listen to your intuition with the moon. 
I see you very focused. We also have the Queen of Swords here. And I think that for some of you, this is your energy. It's more of a serious energy. And I think that you're, you're focused on maybe clearing up the confusion. There's things you want to know. There's definitely things that um, you're trying to find out this week, Cancer. You're trying to see things uh, clearly, and I think that you're trying to cut through any confusion that might have been in front of you. With the Queen of Swords, uh, I do believe that for some of you, this is your energy in the mind, thinking about something thoroughly, um, planning out the details. This could be you strategizing or re-strategizing when it comes to something particular in your life, when it comes to you moving forward, moving towards something new. Now, for some of you, this can be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person who is maybe with the moon here. This could be a person that, you know, you're dealing with. There could be a lot of confusion surrounding this situation, for some of you, this could be someone you're in a relationship with, with the Hierophant here. And with the moon, there could be deception, so take caution with that. For some of you, this could be deception, secrets, you know, something that's hidden. But I do think that for those of you that this is your energy, I think that, you know, if something has been hidden or... There's, con there's been confusion surrounding a situation. I think that you're coming through very serious. And I think that, you know, you're ready to get to the bottom of whatever this is. Y you definitely want the truth. Now, the Hierophant can represent your marriage, a committed partnership. This could be government. This could be something legal. This could be the company that you work for. So, you know, however you relate to this, I think that, you know, you want the truth. You definitely are seeking that clarity so you can move forward. So you can take action. We also have the King of Wands here. So for some of you, there could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person that's quite significant. Maybe this is someone that you're seeking the truth from. And then for others, you know, the King of Wands for me represents taking action. This is a very creative, passionate driven person no matter if you're male or female and I think that this is you wanting to take action you're ready to move forward you're definitely listening to your intuition you know with this 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 maybe new path that you're stepping on whether this is you moving up within your company uh, or moving forward moving to a new home whatever this is you're ready for it and I do see many of you listening to your intuition Maybe even taking that, that time alone with the hermit here. You could be spending some time alone going within. Also, there could be uh, some cancers that are maybe seeking some sort of counsel or advice. Absolutely. Now, this could be with an attorney, with the queen of swords, the hermit here. This could definitely could be for some cancers. You seeking um, some counsel from your attorney. Or an older uh, trusted mentor, a father, a grandfather, uh, a colleague. This could be you talking to someone because I see you working with another person. We also have the Three of Pentacles here, which talks of teamwork. So, you know, this could be for some cancers, you working with a fire sign person. Are you working with your attorney, working with another person? So you can move forward, maybe move to this new home or move towards more stability and security within your life because we also have the Four of, of Wands here, which talks of longevity, which talks of stability and security. But this is also my happy home card. So for some of you, that's where your focus is at. Maybe you're trying to move to a new home. And if there was, you know, confusion surrounding the situation, you're definitely working on getting to the bottom of, of, of whatever this is, clearing up that confusion. Maybe there's impor important documents that need to be signed first. So this could be you working with an attorney or working on getting those documents signed. Taking care of the details when it comes to this. But I see many of you working very hard, working very hard within your career, working on a team, 
really paying attention to the details this week. I think that honestly for many of you it's going to be an amazing week for you. Uh, for some of you, I feel maybe more in the beginning of the week. You could be a little bit more emotional, um, but I certainly am not getting that for all of you. But certainly some of you might be a little bit more emotional. You need to keep the faith and you need to, you know, take control if you can. Um, I see a lot of you um, really tying up loose ends, paying attention to the details and moving forward. You're moving forward. Make sure you're listening to your intuition. I see many of you highly, highly intuitive this week. I think that a lot of you are maybe even going to be spending time with friends or family. You could be spending a lot of time within the home. A home could be quite significant. Financially, I think it's going to be a great week for you. Absolutely. The Hermit for me also represents that enlightenment, things becoming illuminated. So absolutely, with, with this energy here, things could be coming to light. Things that were hidden or unknown. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. Cancer. Additional guidance for Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Wow, look at that. We have Adriana. I am I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Well, there you go, Cancer. This resonates wonderfully. So definitely needing to listen to your intuition. For some of you, you need to seek advice from someone around you, someone that you trust. And then for other Cancerians, you need to maybe spend some time alone and go within meditate if you can pay attention to your dreams your thoughts your intuition okay cancer so overall i think it's going to be a great week for you i hope you enjoyed this reading take care